Now with Dr. Darian, and there's a new data on Danish women with hormone disorders and how they are 15% more likely uh, to experience pregnancy loss. Break this down for us. PCOS, what does that mean? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. That was one of the hormone disorders that were looked at in this study. Very common diagnosis. Up to 10 to 15% of women live with it. Most important, most pe- many people don't know that they have that diagnosis. And aside from that, diseases like the diabetes, thyroid disorders are associated with an increased risk of pregnancy loss. As you said, 15% for an increased risk of one pregnancy loss, and it increases through there. 30% with an increased risk of two pregnancy losses, and in some cases, more than an 80% increase risk of three pregnancy losses. This is one of those problems when patients come in, they often feel that guilt and shame on themselves. But as a physician, it's important to remind that these are conditions that often are outside of their control. I, as someone who's really struggled with fertility in my own journey, can appreciate how hard this is and also how limited it might feel information is. What should women be talking to their doctors about if they are trying to conceive? Understanding your symptoms and an early diagnosis. We can focus on PCOS since it's one of the more common diagnoses that that many women don't realize that they live with. It uh, causes a hormone disruption that can lead to other complications such as irregular menstrual cycles, uh, constant pain with your menstrual cycles, abnormal hair growth. So when you have these abnormal symptoms, it's really important to get to the bottom of it to get an early diagnosis to get early treatment to make sure you're as healthy as possible before you enter your pregnancy and you said many people many women don't realize that they're living with this so how can you be tested for there's no a single test for something like PCOS it involves things like getting a full history uh, sometimes an ultrasound and certain blood tests but again having early discussions is the most important all right thank you the doctor is spoken